The Usos show up at Night of Champions to cost Roman Reigns the titles. Last minute predictions for WWE Night of Champions 2023. Logan Paul and Jake Paul attack Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at Night of Champions. WWE gets a major warning about Roman Reigns. Updates on Cody Rhodes' injury. Roman Reigns to defend the Universal Championship against Jimmy Uso. Let's jump right into it. Last minute predictions for WWE Night of Champions 2023. Night of Champions 2023 is just hours away from airing on WWE Network and Peacock. The big show is set to take place at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from the Jeddah Superdome in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. The show will feature a special triple main event attraction. Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar are set to compete for the second time. Seth Rollins and AJ Styles will fight over the vacant World Heavyweight Championship. Plus, Roman Reigns and Solo Sikoa will challenge for the unified Raw and SmackDown Tag Team titles. In addition to the three big matches previously mentioned, four other bouts have been announced for the epic event. Trish Stratus and Becky Lynch will clash. Bianca Belair will defend her gold. Rhea Ripley is set to fight Natalia. Plus, Gun and Mustafa Ali will go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. With such a stacked card, anything could happen at the big event. This piece will provide some last-minute predictions for the epic show in Saudi Arabia. Well, about in within a minute, will a shocking turn occur? Here are five last-minute predictions for WWE Night of Champions 2023. Number 5. Cody Rhodes may lose to Brock Lesnar in seconds at WWE Night of Champions 2023. Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar are ready to go to war at WWE Night of Champions 2023. They last had a match at Backlash in Puerto Rico, which shockingly saw Cody pin Lesnar. Brock was not happy with the outcome of the match as proceeded to attack the American Nightmare at every possible opportunity. This includes breaking Cody's arm on the most recent episode of WWE Raw, meaning Rhodes is going in at a major disadvantage. Battling Brock Lesnar at less than 100% is a scary thought, but doing so with a broken arm is a borderline death wish. Rhodes may end up losing in a matter of seconds. If Brock locks in the Kimura or hits Cody with the F5, the American Nightmare will lose in under a minute. Number 4. Seth Rollins will win the World Heavyweight Championship. The World Heavyweight Championship is here. Triple Edge announced the newest WWE Championship a handful of weeks ago in a 12-man tournament took place to determine the contenders for the title. After winning both a triple threat match and their own respective semi-final round bouts, Seth Rollins and AJ Styles are set to compete in the finals. The World Heavyweight Championship tournament will take place at WWE Night of Champions in what is sure to be an epic fight. While some fans believe that AJ Styles will win due to Seth's focus on acting as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, his absence from television has been blown out of proportion. If anything, the promotion likely sees it as a positive and will be even more willing to give him the new belt. Rollins will likely pin Styles in Saudi Arabia and leave with the gold. Number 3. Trish Stratus will cheat to defeat Becky Lynch. Trish Stratus is set to make her in-ring debut in front of the fans of Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. The legend was semi-retired for over 15 years and seemingly fully retired since 2019, but has since returned to action. She, alongside both Becky Lynch and Lita, competed and won at WWE WrestleMania. Trish later turned heel, attacking her bestie and Becky. Now the man is seeking payback while Stratus is hoping to establish herself as the greatest female wrestler of all time. When two legendary female stars clash at WWE Night of Champions, Becky is likely the favorite to win. Instead, however, the Canadian Hall of Famer will prevail and cheat to defeat Big Time Bex. Number 2. Sami Zayn will pin Roman Reigns. An epic tag team match will take place at Night of Champions. Roman Reigns and Solo Sikoa will team up to challenge Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship. This big time bout is months in the making. The bloodline has been in effect for a few years now and Sami Zayn was part of the faction until the 2023 Royal Rumble when he smashed Roman Reigns in the back with a steel chair. He and Owens then went on to dethrone the Usos at WrestleMania. While Reigns has been seemingly unstoppable for the past three years, he will finally be stopped at WWE Night of Champions. Sami and Roman's rivalry will have a satisfying conclusion, with the Canadian star pinning Reigns in the middle of the ring to retain the tag gold. Number 1. A member of the bloodline will turn on Roman Reigns. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens will defeat Roman Reigns and Solo Sikoa at WWE Night of Champions. The bloodline may finally crumble in Saudi Arabia. Roman has been the leader of the bloodline since the faction's inception, but he's often been a ruthless boss. He will belittle and manipulate his stablemates as long as it keeps him on top. Given his recent issues with the Usos and Solo, at least one member of the bloodline will betray Reigns at Night of Champions. In fact, the Usos or Solo may even cost Roman the win. From there, the remaining members of the group will eventually follow. Logan Paul and Jake Paul attack Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at Night of Champions. The current undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn have kept the wrestling world captivated since winning the title. The duo will face Roman Reigns and Solo Sikoa at Night of Champions this Saturday in Saudi Arabia. Kyo and Zayn initially wanted to challenge the Usos at Night of Champions, but Roman Reigns called out their incompetency. The Tribal Chief expressed his disappointment in the Usos due to them losing their titles at WrestleMania and the inability to regain them. Paul Heyman then announced that Solo Sikoa and Reigns himself will challenge for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship. 
At Crown Jewel in November 2022, held in Saudi Arabia, Roman Reigns defeated Logan Paul. While the Usos sided with their tribal chief, it seemed Paul also came with his brother as a backup. Jake Paul made his WWE debut at the premium live event and even knocked out the Usos. Logan Paul's last WWE appearance was at WrestleMania, where he took on Seth Rollins. Shortly after, he signed another multi-year contract with the company and stated how winning a championship was in his sights. While he did not specify which title he was eyeing, he could possibly team up with his younger brother and target Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at Night of Champion, thus enabling Jake to also make his in-ring debut in addition to building up a long-term rivalry. Owens and Zayn rekindled their friendship owing to their disdain for Reigns and the Bloodline. Additionally, Sami Zayn's association with the faction last year enabled him to gain a stronger foothold to play mind games in his favor. Last week, Damian Priest and Finn Balor faced Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in the main event of Raw. However, things got heated up at the commencement of the show when the heelish faction had a run-in with the tag team champions. Rhea Ripley stood up to the prize fighter who seemed ready to attack Dominic Mysterio. A brawl ensued, and the Eradicator punched the former Universal Champion, much to his surprise. Barring Ripley, no other member of the faction holds gold, thus leading to the possibility that it might be high time they should also be title holders. Priest and Beeler have showcased impressive unison when working as a tag team. Following Night of Champions, it would be befitting that the duo get a shot to win tag team gold. The Judgment Day has proven to be quite the faction and adept tag team strengths. A long-term rivalry between Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn against Damian Priest and Finn Balor would be apt for a stage like Money in the Bank or even SummerSlam. WWE gets a major warning about Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns has been unstoppable at the top of WWE for nearly three years. Kurt Angle believes the overdependence on the tribal chief is starting to hurt the company. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion has defeated every superstar that has tried to take the title off him. The situation doesn't seem like it may change until next year's WrestleMania. While WWE has succeeded in breaking modern day records with Roman's reign, Kurt Angle warned the promotion about how they are ignoring other talent. The Olympic heroes stress that it was essential to build new top names, and having Roman Reigns defeat everyone prevented it from happening. Just remember, I'm not telling WWE what to do. I'm just saying you want to make other wrestlers. It's not a bad thing to make other wrestlers into champions. You've got to build your company. You can't rely on just one guy, said the WWE Hall of Famer on the Kurt Angle show. I'm not saying they are doing that with Roman, but they are on their way to doing that. Kurt Angle recalled how the business was during the territorial era, where it was common for world champions to hold the belt for multiple years. The veteran and explained that things were quite different today, as an active WWE superstar is advertised to appear more regularly than in the past. Angle understood what WWE was trying to do in Roman Reigns' case, but felt the company officials needed to be more cautious about presenting the bloodline leader. I just think he's had the title really, really long. Especially today, we're not in territories anymore where we only see the wrestler once a month. You see Roman Reigns advertised every day on TV. You're seeing him once or twice a week wrestling on TV, maybe three times with a pay-per-view. Him having the title for three years is like a wrestler in the 70s having it for 15. It's just ridiculous. Don't get me wrong, I'm not against it. You've got to be careful. The Simone superstar will get a chance to add more belts to his resuming when he and Solo Sicko take on Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens for the WWE Tag Team Championship at Night of Champions in Saudi Arabia. The ongoing storyline has revolved around the heat between the Bloodline members, and keeping that in mind, Kurt Angle predicted Zayn and KO to retain their titles. The retired superstar, however, joked that he could see WWE putting more championships on Reigns, including the new World Heavyweight title. He continued, continued, well, you know what? I haven't had much luck going against Roman Reigns, but you know what? I'm going to go with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. They are going to go over strictly because Roman Reigns is already holding two world titles. Now, I could be wrong. They might end up putting all the titles on Roman Reigns. Maybe even the new world title laughs. Could WWE pull off a swerve and book Roman and Solo to defeat Owens and Zayn? Sound off in the comment section below. Updates on Cody Rhodes' injury WWE Chief Content Officer Triple H cleared the air on Cody Rhodes' injury and the status of his match against Brock Lesnar at Night of Champions. The American Nightmare was brutally attacked by Lesnar backstage on Raw earlier this week. However, he refused to go down and confronted the Beast Incarnate later on in the show, leading to the latter further injuring his arm. Rhodes declined to seek medical attention and insisted on going with the match at Night of Champions. The former AEW star was present at the pre-show press conference, reiterating his desire to face the former Universal champion despite suffering a broken arm. Triple H then announced that the scheduled bout will occur tomorrow at night at champion. Hunter's decision was questioned by Michael Cole, who expressed concern over Cody competing with an injury, but the WWE's CQO made it clear that if Rhodes wanted to fight, the match would take place as planned. The first match between Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar ended on an abrupt note after the American Nightmare secured a roll-up victory. However, the story between the two was not over as the Beast Incarnate cost Cody a chance to win the World Heavyweight Championship and challenged him to match again. How 
However, Rhodes won't be at his 100% during the second meeting between the two as Lesnar broke his arm on Monday. During the latest edition of Sports Kita Wrestling's Legion of Raw, Vince Russo speculated that Triple H and Co. added an injury factor to the storyline because of Brock's demand. I'm wondering if Brock played the trump card and said, this guy can't beat me again. I got to go over Cody. And the only way they could do that is if he goes into the match with a broken arm, though. WWE is most likely to continue the feud between Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar after Night of Champions. Reports have indicated that the duo could have another match at SummerSlam. If that is the case, it is most likely that the Beast Incarnate will come put on top at WWE's PLE in Saudi Arabia. Roman Reigns to defend the Universal Championship against Jimmy Uso Roman Reigns is set to take on Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens for the Tag Team Championships along with his loyal enforcer Solo Sikoa at Night of Champions. However, the Tribal Chief could end up losing the match because of the Usos as per Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer, which could lead to a match between him and either Jimmy or Jey Uso at MITB. It has been reported that Reigns is set to defend the undisputed WWE Universal Championship at the Money in the Bank PLE, which will be held in London. Currently, Reigns has been embroiled in a program with his cousins, the Usos, who have repeatedly disappointed him since they lost the tag team titles at WrestleMania 39. As per Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer, Reigns will be defending his championship at MITB, as well as SummerSlam this year. With a lack of any credible opponents for the Tribal Chief, his main rivals will likely be the Usos in the coming time. Reigns is expected to defend the title on the seven first Money in the Bank show in London and again at SummerSlam. It feels way early for Sokoa, but the top candidates on the brand would be the Usos and Bobby Lashley, and thus far Lashley hasn't been heated up to that level. Jimmy and Jey Uso were crucial in the rise of Roman Reigns as the tribal chief. Jey Uso had opposed Reigns initially but later joined him and became his right-hand man. The two engaged in a highly personal feud, culminating in a dramatic and emotional clash at Hell in a Cell. Fueled by his desire to prove his worth and stand up to his cousin's oppressive reign, Jey put on a stunning performance only to be defeated by Reigns. Despite the loss, Jey's resilience and tenacity won over the hearts of fans worldwide. With his storied history with Roman Reigns, Jey makes the best option for Reigns' defense at MITB. The Usos show up at Night of Champions to cost Roman Reigns the titles. WV Night of Champions 2023 is just a few hours away, where Roman Reigns will officially complete 1,000 days as the Universal Champion. The event could also mark a big twist involving the Usos. After the twins were unable to defeat Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens on multiple occasions, Roman Reigns decided to team up with Solo Sikoa to challenge for the undisputed Tag Team Championships. The match will certainly involve drama considering the cracks among the Bloodline members. While there is no confirmation on the Usos' appearance, at WWE Night of Champions 2023, they might try to help their family win the titles at the event. However, the head of the table made it clear last week that he doesn't want the twins' help unless he asks for it. If a former tag team champions decide to interfere and end up costing their stablemates the titles, fans could finally see the much-awaited storyline of the bloodline getting disbanded. There is a strong possibility that after the match, Reigns will try to insult the Usos, leading to the twins betraying their tribal chief. There is a strong possibility that Solo Sikoa will side with Jay and Jimmy, leading to Roman Reigns losing all of his stablemates. The family could finally end up against each other, potentially concluding with Solo Seiko challenging the head of the table for the undisputed WWE Univeral Championship. While nothing is confirmed, the drama will thrill the fans if it materializes. There are high chances of this scenario happening as well. The Usos have been a key factor in ensuring that their cousin stays the undisputed world champion and could realistically succeed in their quest to prove their worth at WWE Night of Champions 2023. If the duo successfully aids their cousins, they will certainly get the respect they deserve as the Bloodline members and fans could see the faction stronger than ever. The stable could then feud with other baddie faces and potentially win more championships in the future. In such a scenario, Roman Reigns could very well stay champion up to WrestleMania 40. What do you think will happen at WWE Night of Champions 2023? Let us know in the comments section below. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for